Hello and welcome back and it's time to talk about yet another new QNAP. The QNAP D series is slowly being revealed as 2020 continues and it's not letting something like COVID get in the way. We're seeing more and more iterations and entries into the D range from them that are utilising that new 4000 series Celeron processor. But much like the 451D that we talked about last week, this new NAS is arriving with the likelihood of only being released in China. Some devices never quite make it out of China, and a lot of that is to do with them being a little bit more niche than others. And I hope the 453D that we're going to talk about today, Mini, is going to beat that trend. The TS453D Mini is a 4 bay compact NAS. It's not the first to be part of their four bay compact mini series. We've seen the Pro Mini and we saw the A Mini I believe and then the, the B Mini a little while after that and this new series arrives with a lovely compact lower noise lower power consumption chassis that removes some of the frippery the kind of aesthetic design of uh, QNAP four bay series and puts it into this tight compact um, micro deployment chassis now it arrives with that Celeron CPU that we talked about before the 453d this is the j4105 it's a quad core processor 64-bit architecture x86 and it's a 2.0 gigahertz processor per core that could be clocked up to 2.7 per core it uh, supports 1080p and 4K playback and transcoding thanks to HD Intel, uh, Intel HD graphics uh, 600 and that processor also opens the door to things like AES NI level encryption so better performance overall and with a lovely floating point for multitasking overall. It also means that the majority of QNAP's applications in QTS 4.1.2 or 4.2.2 uh, depending on the version when you're watching this of course um, it will support all of them from QVR Pro all the way through to Plex Media Server on the third party. You can support um, lots of their kind of file level stuff such as QSearch, QFiling uh, and then you've got the virtual JBOD to convert some of your NAS space into additional uh, localized appearing storage and hybrid mount that really helps you consolidate your NAS and cloud space together to let them be visual to one another overall. Now um, alongside this, if you are a cloud user and you're using things like Office 365 and you're using G Suite and stuff like that, you can, of course, use BoxSafe as well, an application I'm hoping to have a video done by the end of this week showing you guys just how you can use it to synchronize and back up and restore data from your cloud service on an account level so you can duplicate whole accounts and view it as an account rather than just packets of data that you've pulled from the cloud. Now, in terms of hardware, the 453D does bring a lot to the table that we talked about. Uh, the 453D Mini brings a lot to the table that the 453D did as well, but on a slightly more compact scale. So, for example, it will feature HDMI from what I'm seeing, HDMI 2.0. So, uh, 4K 60 frames per second playback is always a plus. On top of that, the device is also arriving with 2 times 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports that's right this is a dual 2.5 gbe nas none of your one gbe here and in terms of usb connectivity there's three usb 3 ports and two usb 2 ports although that one i'm still waiting for a little bit of confirmation on that now for those that have ever seen this chassis before it is a top load chassis that means that there's no trays at the front and it isn't really hot swappable although it sort of is there's a magnetically held top panel that opens up and drives are delivered vertically onto sata ports it supports up to the very latest hard drives which are of course the seagate iron wolf drives and those seagate iron wolves are arriving at about 16 tb each is pretty impressive indeed so with this nas you are looking at 64 terabytes of storage raw straight off the bat and with 2.5 gbe um, ports on the rear that can be link aggregated up to 5 gigabit ethernet and that newer gen celeron cpu you are going to get a lot of performance from this now where does this sit in the family from qnap well it is kind of an alternative to the hopefully soon to be released TS453D. This is for users that are looking for a more compact NAS where it's going to be deployed somewhere discreet, maybe in a loft or an attic, and it has uh, an improved cooling and ventilation system built into it that actually helps with things like noise and power consumption. It does still utilize three and a half inch media, so power consumption 
is still comparable to a standard 4 bay, but it's in the surroundings and the trappings around it um, where things are controlled a little bit more with 10.95 watts whilst in hibernation and 24.32 uh, watts whilst in utilization. But it's worth highlighting that those figures that I'm quoting there are more based on the predecessor, the 453B Mini. And because the CPU has a slightly higher clock speed, I do think this power consumption might be a tad higher. But in terms of noise, I think it's going to be near enough identical to that, the 453B Mini. At around 16.9 dBA, that's what they quote on the 453B Mini, and I think the D Mini will follow suit quite significantly. But going back to the software, this device will support pretty much everything QNAP are putting out there. So if you're a media user, your, your photo station, your video station, your music station, you've got QMAGI for photo recognition and thing recognition, as well as lots of uh, video streaming applications and multimedia console to pretty much control the whole thing. If you're a business user, you've got some of those other applications that I've mentioned earlier on, file station, Q filing, Q search, as long as uh, virtual uh, JBOD and hybrid mount, but you've also got things like hybrid backup sync three, which allows you to create an entire backup system via this one portal access point that allows you to migrate and backup and restore data between USB devices, other NAS devices, um, other um, internet-based NAS devices, localized storage and cloud-based third-party storage can all be managed on a schedule all at once via the one NAS device to create a multi-tiered backup strategy on this device. So you are getting pretty much everything that QNAP are bringing to the table with this NAS and with newer generations of applications arriving in QTS and this being part of the new 53D series of NAS. It's a real shame that if this only goes to China, because I think there is a market for a device like this. It's not quite as accessible as your standard two base, and it will arrive, of course, at a price point that is reflective of the additional work that goes into building a compact chassis to maintain efficiency, but it's still a good device, and I do hope this makes it out of China. But if you've got any questions about this, do let me know in the comments. I've got a full NAS compare breakdown in the description below. And of course, visit the guys at span.com to get hold of your NAS today. 25 years in the biz, they know what they're doing. Other than that, do click like if you enjoyed this. Click subscribe to learn more about QNAP NAS, any NAS really. And I will see you next time.